Well, welcome back everybody. We got a little bit of a different kind of video tonight than what we normally do. This isn't really a how-to or anything like that. I have had a new tool come my way from a company called Log Ox. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. They saw the last sawmill video that did well and asked if I would like to try out their three-in-one forestry multi-tool. So we're gonna cut to the chase. We're gonna get right to it. Um, for the record, this is what I've been using for quite a few, well, a few years now. And this thing is garbage. This is one of the cheap tractor supply made you know where. And uh, this is junk. This thing barely hooks a log. I don't have very good luck with it. I never have. It's just the, uh, the geometry of how it's set up and everything just isn't conducive for rolling logs worth a damn. Great if you're a backyard guy, maybe even great in your firewood log pile. But for the sawmill, things like that, it's just not worth a damn for me. So without further ado, we're going to get this thing opened up, see what it's all about. We'll test it out. We'll test it out over a few videos. First initial impressions, kind of hard to gauge the quality of something. You got to use it for a little while. But uh, again, there's no sponsorship here. I'm not getting any money for this. Nothing like that. The full disclosure, they did send it to me to try it out and see what I thought of it. So stay tuned and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, let's see what this thing looks like opened up. So initial, initial impressions when I opened up the box on my doorstep yesterday, it's kind of nice to see something that actually comes in a decent bag. And I tell you what, worth its weight in gold right there. You guys see that little sticker right there? That's right, made in the USA. So in this day and age, I tell you what, you're going to spend more money buying stuff made here, you know, but at the same time, think of what you're doing for your local communities when you're actually supporting small businesses. Now, I did a little reading on this company. Well, I got a hip holster or a belt hook for it. I did a little reading on this company, and it's a small family company. They're making a product that looks to be pretty decent. And you know what? For me, that's worth its weight in gold. I will support somebody like that all day long because that money a lot of times ends up going back into our communities, whether it is for job creation, anything like that. So very big fan of that. So this looks like it's a... What do we have here? Well, they got a little log stand there. Of course, I didn't bring a dam wrench out with me. We'll try that out later. That's me, always a day late and a dollar short. But that actually, this little log stand is actually one of the few things I like about that cheap tractor supply one. All right. That's nice and beefy. That is nice and beefy. So it looks like we have 3 8 plate this is cut out of here. Same thing with that guy. Looks to be about 8th inch wall steel tube. Wooden handle. What do we have going on here? Well, I got our pickaroon here. Not too shabby. I guess we'll have to test all this stuff out. Good, huh? Nice that comes out. Let's see what we have. Ah. Well, we're going to set it up for our first intended use. This is probably what this will get used for the most here is going to be rolling logs onto the sawmill. Now, it's kind of a short handle for what I'm doing on the sawmill, but we're going to see how it works. And it'll probably work just fine. Probably work better than what I've been using, I can tell you that. So let's move the camera and see how this goes. So a big problem I always had with that other one is that hook did not like to bite. Just did not give me a very good purchase on a log and I'd always have to kick it in with my foot 
So I can already tell you that that right there, that is an improvement. Now here comes the real test. I'm resisting the urge to kick my foot into this because I want to see how well this thing bites. Not too bad. See how it does with a little pressure behind it. Now let's move you guys so you can see what we're doing a little better. So the biggest test for me and the big issue I always had with that other one, like I said, I have to sit here with the other one and just kick that point in of the PV. It just didn't do very well. And the geometry of it was such a way that it just wouldn't bite. But that's pretty nice for me right there to be able to do that. Well, let's see. Not too bad. That's not too bad. And nice, pretty nice sharpened point on that. I like that. Well, let's do a little cut in here and see what happens. See how it likes to flip something up square. All right, so here's one of the biggest pain in the ass parts for me when I don't have the tractor out here on the mill. Just rolling these logs. Now the first one isn't too bad. Get this off to the side. The first roll usually isn't too awful bad. The, um, it's usually that second roll when you're trying to get it all the way over that could be a real pain. Let's see what we get here. No, I guess we're gonna, there we go. Okay, there we go, another good test of her. Now again, I'm not going to foot this thing in here like I normally would because I just kind of want to see how it grabs naturally. I'll take a short bite on it. See what happens. I'm, that's actually pretty damn nice. Not too bad. You know what, I'm an impatient man, so I think we're gonna, I wanna try that bigger log first. This log's light enough, I can move it around, manhandle it easy enough. But I think a real good test would be that much bigger log behind us here. Oh, what do we wanna try? Let's try the pickaroon function out. Have a good time with that, right? We also have to try this function of it out too, see how that works. But for right now, I want to see how well this thing sticks and pulls. All right, can you guys see me okay? Well, maybe we better get you a little closer, huh? Be that prick who does a review video for somebody and then uh, get your crappy camera angles. All right, so see what we have there. Kind of an interesting shape to it. 
and just pins right into that handle. Now this handle's nice heavy wall stuff. We got a nice rubber handle on the end of it. Let's see what we get here. Not too bad. It's not bad at all. Boy, that saves your back too. You guys know, you guys have been watching for a while. You guys know I'm not always gentle with my body. That is an interesting shape. Oh, that's sweet. Well, let's give this thing a real test. Much better log for a test. Comes the fun part. Tell you what, it bites in there really well. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's actually easier, it's actually easier putting a, a bigger log on the mill with this setup because it doesn't get hung up in between my uh, in between the, the mill rails and the uh, bunks I have set up. But it's a pretty good diameter log for testing this thing on. Oh, I like it. So apparently another feature of this thing, and it looks like one of their main selling points, is that you can use this to carry blocks around. We're going to try picking up just the end of this half-cut log here. This log's about 10 feet long. But it's not all that heavy. It's just a uh, spruce log that we have kicking around here. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought this handle was going to be a little too short for what I'm doing, but that bit in so well, it just it was perfect for what I'm doing. So let's see. So apparently, and we'll see because I haven't tried it yet. You guys are seeing this for the first time just like I am. Apparently you can carry logs with these things if you get a guy on one on each end. And I think that would be very handy for like your log cabin builders, anything. We'll see. Let's just see. <laughs> yep. 
Now look at that, that hooks all the way up here. That bites in so well. Very nice. Release is pretty easy too. See how it does on this one. Like a kid with a new toy, you know? Wow. That is handy. Very, very handy. All right, folks. Now I'm pretty leery of showing, showing any kind of product type things on this channel. Just because that's not what we're about here. We are more, uh... come on, there we go. Woodsman's podcast. <laughs> I like listening to that stuff. So anyway, I'm usually pretty leery of showing any kind of products on this channel. For one, we have a we have more of a reputation for honesty on this channel. Any of you guys who have been with this channel for a long, long time, you guys know that. You guys know kind of who I am by now. So I, I'm not one just to get a new gadget and put it out there like it's the best damn thing in the world and it's you need to run out and spend your hard-earned money on it. That's not me. I would rather show it and let you guys decide for yourself if it's something something that you are interested in. Now I can tell you on initial inspection and initial use, very solid, very well made. I mean, that's, that's good steel. I mean, it's just, it's well made, it's beefy. The only plastic part on it is this rubber handle right here, and that's it. I will say, I will fumble with it a little bit until I get used to the ins and outs of using it. But initial first time use for me, there's no complaints there. That last log that we rolled up onto the sawmill was pretty good size. And that's not always a question of weight because that's just a white cedar log. So it's not, I mean, it's heavy because of the side, size of it and it's green. But that's usually not the issue I have with PVs and log cants and stuff like that, or cant hooks. The issue I have with them most of the time is the way it bites down because of the size of them. A lot of times you can't get good purchase on a log to roll it. Uh, at least I found that with the PVs I've used over the years. But I will say, for as close as that is to the hook and as short as that is, that actually bit in there fabulously and I didn't have to sit there. I mean, there's times with the PV I've had to take my ax or whatever I have handy at the time and pound even with a sharpened point, pound it in there just because of the geometry of it. So I will say on initial use, it looks like these guys really figured out their geometry quite well on that. Um, I really don't have any critiques. They were, the, the gentleman who owns this company was kind of wanted to get my thoughts on how it was and ease of use, things like that. What could you do different with it? Um, I got to say, they kind of nailed it. It may look a little different, but uh, functionality-wise, it's a lot better than anything I have here. And I really appreciate them sending this to me because you guys are like I am. Things are tight, so anytime you can get yourself a decent a decent tool it's money in the bank and uh, that's awesome it would be neat and they may even offer something but it would be cool if they had a handle either a handle extension for this or a longer handle as an option when you buy this thing I'll have to look and see but uh, as we go down the road with it we'll try out the other features of it and I will show you guys the features as we use it um, but so far we used everything but the uh, well, the T part there that holds your log up so you can cut it without digging your chainsaw into the ground. Um, the uh, the picaroon's not bad. It's a, definitely a different shape on the end of it. It's kind of a triangle shape. But, you know, it didn't really have any problems digging into the logs and it held, which that's the important part. There's nothing worse when you're using the picaroon to shuffle stuff around and just whatever it is you're moving just kind of falls right off. What I was impressed with, I mean, those logs aren't huge, but they're not really light because they're green, they're fresh cut. But 
using this thing as a uh, block carrier to lift the logs. That that was kind of cool. I you know I may just get another one. So when I have a helper, I got a 12 year old son in there who's getting bigger all the time. He's going to be a moose. I may be getting him one of these just uh, so he can help the old man out. Just don't tell him that. He doesn't watch my videos anyway, so it's all good. But anyway, thank you to Logox for sending that, Austin in particular. It is very much appreciated. Um, if it's something you guys want to check out, it's Logox, L-O-G-O-X, one word. Uh, you can find them online. They have some videos up on YouTube. And they actually put all their social media links right on a sticker on the tool. That, that is the world we're living in, folks where social media media is such a big driving factor these days that now you're starting to see it on the manufacturer stickers of where you can find them. That's kind of kind of funny, kind of neat. I mean, especially coming from a guy who, uh, you know, makes his extra money for projects off of YouTube. And <laughs> so it's kind of neat. But anyway, like I said, guys, this is not a paid endorsement or anything like that. You guys know I don't do that here. Um, but if somebody sends me something and wants an honest review, I will. If it's something I don't like, I won't even bother making a video on it. If it's something I like, I'll make the video. I've had a couple things where I've shot the video and then realized that it was a real turd what I was using and then scrapped the entire video because I just, I can't put something out to you guys who watch these channels for information, I can't put something out to you guys that's just a piece of junk, and that, that would be no good. But uh, this came about Nicole from Hudson's, Nicole Hooden. Uh, they're, they're good people at Hudson's. Um, I'll tell you what, if you're going to buy a sawmill, again, nothing here is sponsored. They don't give me anything for saying this, so I can go on my own experience. The big timber frame in the back. If you guys are new to this channel, check out those videos. It's the timber framing vlog. There's hundreds of them on the building of that timber frame structure. That one I did predominantly alone until an accident. But uh, she saw the last video with their sawmill in it that did really well. It, uh, I think it's up to 225,000 views right now. I haven't had one do that in a couple of years, so that's pretty cool. But she saw that and saw that I was rolling the log up onto the mill by hand and struggling with it a little bit. Part of that is I just don't have the leg strength I used to due to that thing. But I wasn't using the PV I had because that thing just does not bite into a log worth a damn. Even, even when I sharpen the point, just does not, the shape of it, the geometry, how the hook works and everything, it's just a churd for trying to do much of anything. I honestly regret the day I bought it because I've, I've done better not using it. So she saw it and she sent me a message, said, you know, you really ought to think about saving your back when you're rolling logs on there. And she took pity on me and sent my information to Austin from Log Ox and he got rid of hold of me and said, would you like to try one out? I said, absolutely. We'll see how we like it. And if I like it, I'll throw a video out on there and let you know what I think of it. So that's kind of how it all, all came about. But uh, I'm big on supporting American companies. Um, I think it doesn't matter what country you live in. If you live in Canada, you should try to support your Canadian companies. If you live in the U.S., you live in the European countries, it doesn't matter. That money that you use to support your local, your local small businesses. Now, Hudson's, Logox, they're not big corporations. Hudson's down there, they have a snowmobile up on a sign in front of their place. It's a small town chainsaw shop and they make forestry equipment there. They employ local people. They use U.S. materials for their products. I really, I really like companies like that. So, end of the day, if there's a U.S. company and they make a good product and they ask me what my opinion is of it, I'm gonna shout it to the world and hopefully send a little something their way because we need that right now. We need those jobs in a bad way. It's, it's one of those things, your local businesses, your small town manufacturers who make like these sawmills or the log ox and even log arch and some of the other companies, you know, they're small American companies. They're usually only employing 20, 30 people, sometimes quite a bit less, but they're putting out amazing products and they're keeping people eating. This mill right here, when I bought it, I know 
that there's some guy welding this thing up who's going to be able to put food on his table because I bought this mill. These people right here, they're going to be able to put food on the tables of their employees because somebody's buying that product. It may cost you a little more to buy here, but try to think of that, you know, when you think of how expensive things are. Try to think about it because it, it does better for all of us that way. So anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you found some decent information in here. Hopefully uh, we'll test the hell out of this thing, see what happens. I'm going to email Austin my initial thoughts on it. And first night, first night use, not bad at all. It's like a Cadillac, to be honest with you, compared to what I've been using. But he probably could have sent me a 2x4 of the strap on it, and it would have been better than what I've been using. But this is definitely going to be a very functional thing for us here. So anyway, have a good night, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one.